Thank you for joining this short webinar showing you how to identify the commodity code when making an export declaration using Customs Declaration Service software. This is step two of a series of short webinars introducing the Customs Declaration Service guidance on completing an export declaration. This table sets out the step by step guides we'll be covering in this series. We will be showing you screenshots from Gov.uk. HMRC is constantly improving the digital experience of our customers, so you may find that some of these screenshots will be slightly different to those that you'll see on Gov.uk. This webinar series follows Grayson, who is exporting children's t-shirts from Great Britain to the USA. He has his own customs declaration service software product which means he can submit his own declarations. Grayson is completing an export standard declaration. It's important that Grayson follows the steps in order, otherwise his declaration will fail validation. To identify the commodity code, Grayson needs to ensure he is on the Navigate the CDS declaration instructions for exports homepage. If Grayson scrolls down, he will see the 11 steps he needs to follow. Step two focuses on identifying the commodity code. Grayson needs to access the online trade tariff to identify his commodity code. As he is exporting goods out of Great Britain, he will use the UK Integrated Online Tariff section of this site, so he selects the appropriate link. If Grayson was exporting goods from Northern Ireland, he would use the Northern Ireland Online Tariff section of this site. This is the landing page to the UK Integrated Online Tariff. To search for a commodity code, Grayson scrolls down the page to the search facility. Grayson enters t-shirts here to find the possible commodity codes. He may wish to enter the date his goods will be traded. This could be important as commodities, duties and quotas change over time. If he doesn't enter a date, today's date will be used automatically. The following screen will reveal the possible commodity codes that match his search. As Grayson is interested in t-shirts, singlets and other vests, knitted or crocheted, he can see he's now on the correct page. He scrolls down to the chapter notes, additional chapter notes, section notes and subheading notes to check if there is any additional information that will affect the treatment of his goods. It's important for Grayson to read through these notes. Chapter note one states, this chapter applies only to made up knitted or crocheted articles. As his t-shirts are knitted, Grayson can continue using this classification of code. After working through all the chapter, additional, section and subheading notes, he scrolls back up to find the commodity code table. Grayson's t-shirts are made from cotton, so he selects the drop-down option of cotton. Grayson can now identify his commodity code. The commodity code for exporting t-shirts is 6109-1000-10. However, when exporting t-shirts, the last two digits are not required, as we'll see in a moment. Grayson selects the link which provides more information about that particular commodity code. The commodity code and classification 
are shown at the top of the page. If he then scrolls down, he can see this screen. As Grayson is exporting his goods, he needs to select the Export tab. Grayson can see the commodity code for exporting t-shirts is 6109-1000. This page provides guidance on additional rules that relate to Grayson's commodity code and the country he's exporting to. For instance, if he was exporting to Belarus, he would need to select the conditions link and read any conditions that might apply. Grayson can use the drop down option to specify which country he's exporting to. As he's exporting goods to the United States, he selects United States from the drop down menu. He is now able to see that there are no extra requirements in place for exporting t shirts to the USA. Grayson can select the Check How to Export Commodity Goods link if he wishes to read more about the duties and customs procedures related to exporting goods. Other commodity codes may have more information, for example, supplementary conditions and licensing restrictions, but this will be specific for each commodity code and the country the goods are being exported to. Now Grayson has identified the correct commodity code, he must now identify the correct procedure code. Please note the complexity of finding the right commodity code for your goods can vary depending on the particular item and the country it is imported from or exported to. If you need further help to find the right commodity code, such as incomplete items or if the goods are packaged in sets, you can search Ask HMRC for Help Classifying Your Goods page on gov.uk. Watch the following webinar in this series to see how Grayson identifies the correct procedure code.